How's it going, guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse, and we are back at it with the Running Warehouse favorite. He's an Olympian. He's one of the top marathoners in the world. We got Jared Ward. Now, Jared, we are here in Boston. You've been traveling all over the country, but wherever you go, you can't seem to lose us. <laughs> you found me. That's right, and for good reason, because we are here in a historic city for marathon racing, and I want to go back to your marathon start. You know, super shoes are the hot topic right now, but I want to go back to your first race and really the shoes that you've worn along the way. When I started racing, I ran a, a rust buster call it in college um, a long time ago, but my shoe for the marathon was the Type A. And I, for a number of marathons, I ran that, at, it ran in at 2016 trials, 2015 US championships, 2016 Olympics was a, a sweet Olympic colorway Type A. And it was a Running Warehouse exclusive. You can't forget about that. <laughs> now, the Type A, it was a classic, traditional racing flat, EVA, real low to the ground. Is that even a shoe you bring out anymore? No, I mean, it was a product of, of 40 years of innovation to make shoes lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And now we run on uh, cushiony clouds and it, it totally feels like a different era. In fact, I pulled them on for a workout the other day because I felt like I was, uh, I was getting you know, I was, I was just running in cushy shoes all the time and I wanted to be low to the track and and uh, I lasted one interval before I switched my shoes back because my calves were killing me. Wow. Okay, well, type A, that was your staple shoe. And then I know you trained a little bit in the Kinvara and we're hoping that would maybe be your next marathon shoe. Well, after I came home from the Olympics and the Olympics was flat, fast marathon, I ran Boston and then I ran New York and I thought, man, this type A just doesn't have quite enough of cushioning for a hilly, you know, hilly marathon. And so I was experimenting with other shoes and honed in on the Kimbara. Yeah, you know, the Kimbara, it had that extra stack, but it's maybe not quite a racy enough, aggressive enough shoe. And then maybe you were waiting at your house for something special and did a package deliver. Well, you know, I, w I actually was excited racing the Kimbara. It's like, you know, it's a very lightweight trainer, had some cushioning, and I think for the time, it was a good option for a hilly marathon. Um, and then I was getting ready for the race and I got a call from Saucony. I just started to believe, this is late 2018, I started to believe, all right, super shoes are faster. <laughs> and I got a call from Saucony and they said, hey, we got some shoes in the mail to you. And I said, are they super shoes? And they said, yes. And I said, can I wear them in New York in a week? They said, yes. Shoes showed up on my door and uh, tested them out. And, and uh, one, of them, one of them tested uh, 4.4 percent better than the Kimbara, so I joked that we should call them the 4.4 percenters. <laughs> Maybe didn't pass legal. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we got the Proto pair. You had quite a lot of success in that shoe, and then we get the final version. Is that a shoe that you ended up running a marathon in? Yeah, I ran. I ran New York in the Protos. I ran Boston. I actually ran my PR in Boston in Protos. They were a Dunkin' Donut version of the shoe, the sweet shoe, and then. Uh, you know, New York Marathon 2019, right before the Olympic Trials 2020, we finalized the, the shape of the shoe, and, and it was a better shoe than the prototypes, and uh, released the Endorphin One in the mutant colorway. Yeah, it's an that, awesome shoe. That Endorphin One was a great shoe. It maybe had a little bit less stack than some of the shoes that now that we see today, but it had that Power Run PB foam, was fantastic. But then we started seeing more iterations coming along the way. What was next? Well, I ran a lot of races in the in the Pro Plus. Um, when that came out, I liked that it was lighter. That was kind of a, you know, it was, it was take a good shoe and make it lighter, which was the approach of, of shoe technology for a long time. And, and I liked that shoe, it was faster. The two came out, great shoe, and then the three came out. And I still love the Endorphin 3. I'm always excited to pull it on. Yeah, the Endorphin 3 got more stack. It had that soft feel, it was just a fast, smooth shoe that you can use for anything. Obviously a great marathon shoe, but really any race along the spectrum, fantastic option. But again, Saucony keeps pushing it. Newness, innovation, and what we got is the newest shoe, the Endorphin Elite. Are we gonna see this on your feet on marathon day? Yeah, absolutely. It's a great shoe, new foam. Um, and uh, you know, Saucony, one thing that Saucony's done such a great job with is significant innovations as these shoes coming out. We're, we're talking um, 
significantly better foams and improvements. And you know, we're so, the, the foam is returning so much energy that every time we drop a new shoe with a new foam, I think, oh, this is, a, this is the best foam. And then, you know, and then I get a call from product and they're like, hey, we're working with another foam. And so, you know, Saucony has done such a good job at keeping these things in the pipeline and really releasing innovative shoes um, so yeah, absolutely, I'll be in the Endorphin Elite. Yeah, well, I'll be excited to keep an eye out on whatever is on your feet over the next few years. You know, if, if we go back five years ago, how much shoes have progressed? It's insane, it's great. and I know it's just gonna co continue to get better and better. So for now, we've got two fantastic Super shoes from Saucony, the Endorphin Pro, the Endorphin Elite. If you're looking to get either of them on your feet, race like Jared Ward, you can find them at Running Warehouse.